Unfortunately, we can't get together in person for story time right now, but that's okay. Thanks to the magic of the internet, we're bringing story time to you. I hope you enjoy these stories read by some of our friends and tune in next week for more. Hi there. My name is David, David Berner. I'm a writer and I work on the radio sometimes. I also teach at Columbia College here in Chicago. And you're in my little studio. This is a little place I have on my property where I um, I write my books and do some work. And uh, that little ukulele right there, that was my father. So I have some things in here that are... Uh, very special to me from my, my kids, or artwork for my children, and things that are special to me. And I've got something special here for you, too. It's actually a book that I had suggested uh, to me by my stepdaughter. My stepdaughter works with young boys and girls in Iowa City, uh, in Iowa, um, west of where you live in here in Illinois, or where you may be living in Illinois. You could be watching this from anywhere, I guess. Um, and the book, I asked her, I said, you know, what's a good book between for, for children? She mentioned this one and thought I would just love it. And I do love it. It's fast become one of my favorite books. Uh, it's called Say Something. And it's by a gentleman named Peter H. Reynolds. And it's really about having a voice, about having a chance to say something and be creative and different ways that you can uh, tell people how you feel or what you think. Um, so I'd love to read it to you, and, and here we go. The first page is kind of fun because it's a bunch of little like cartoon bubbles. You see that? And those bubbles say different things like peace and yes, you can and uh, stay strong. Uh, some of the other ones, think green, justice, uh, we've only just begun, all those kinds of things, very positive sort of messages about things that you could say or things that you could do in your life. So it's called Say Something, and here we go. The world needs your voice. And the little girl there says, mine? And the person says, yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. So if it means something to you and you say it, it's likely going to mean something to somebody else, right? You don't have to be loud, powerful. Words can be a whisper. You can say them softly. And it can still be important. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with action, and with creativity. All kinds of ways. So you might even like, you know, bang the keys on a piano. Well, in a way, you're saying something, aren't you? Right? Okay. If you see something lonely, if you see someone lonely, say something. By just being there is helpful to them. So you see that little boy, sees the other little boy who looks a little lonely sitting on the bench. He decided to say something to him, right? If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. So this is about being creative. You draw a picture, you paint a picture, um, you're in a way saying something, right? Do that. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it grow. So look at that. You see something in your neighborhood that looks kind of sad, you know, maybe a piece of land or a place that looks just like it needs a little bit of brightening up, throw some seeds in there. Next moment, you'll have some flowers, right? That's saying something. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Yell, stop, right? I know so many people, people your age who have done this, who have known that something was wrong and immediately said something about it, said something very clearly and strongly to people. If you see something beautiful, we'll say something with a poem. You could write a poem. You could write a little story. Even if it's just a few words here or there, uh, it's a way to express yourself. It's a way to be creative. It's a way to say something. If you have a brilliant idea, and many of you, I'm sure, do, if you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. If you have a great idea, if you have something you really think is neat, or nice, or cool, then say it. Say, hey, I'd like to try this, or we should try to do this, or wouldn't it be nice to do this? People want to hear that. People want to hear those words of yours. They want to hear your ideas. If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! So dress up. Wear a funny hat. Wear a good hat. Wear a hat that makes you look good. Uh, wear some yellow shoes. Wear something that says something. You can wear it, right? Your clothes kind of say something to all of us, don't they? 
If you are angry, if you're mad, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible. That really hurt, the boy says. I'm really sorry, the other says. You know, many times people who don't mean to hurt somebody else, but by something they say, uh, it might. And we don't even realize it. But if we tell them that maybe, hey, what you just said doesn't feel real good to me, um, they, I find that most people understand and they, they feel like they want to help. So that's a good way to express yourself, right? If you see injustice being something you think is wrong, say something peacefully. Inspire others to do the same. So you see that little boy there? He's got a little sign that says, no more hurting people, peace. Right? So he's saying something positive. It's an injustice for people to feel as if they are not um, being um, felt like they're important in the world. Right? Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening. But keep saying what it is is in your heart. And you will find someone who finally listens. So maybe you've said something a few times to a friend and they didn't hear you or Maybe they somehow dismissed you or were too busy thinking about something else, um, about what they were worried about or what they were concerned about and they didn't hear you. It's a good idea to say it again. Why not, right? Ask them, did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? I'd love to say it again and tell you more. Keep saying it. And you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. I love this little illustration there. of All the birds listening to what they had to say. Isn't that fun? I love that. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars and to the universe, right? Say something to something that uh, may be greater and bigger than we really even know. And just thank the stars, as they say. You may have heard that phrase before. Thank the stars for what you have. Some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say, right? Do you know friends of yours or people in your family who sometimes don't always say what they feel? Um, sometimes it's not about them not having feelings. It's just that they might feel a little, they're just less likely to talk about it. And maybe you can encourage them, right, to say something. So when you're ready, say something. Say something. Think about what you want to say and say it. It's very important. Your voice can inspire, it can heal, it can transform. Your voice can change the world. Absolutely. Are you ready to say something? The world needs your voice. They need to hear you. People want to hear what you have to say. So that's a great little book. It's one of my favorites now. Say Something by, uh, forget his name now, Reynolds. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful book and I hope you enjoyed this reading and keep reading and be well.